This video tutorial will get you going with your Casio CG50. It'll give you the tools you need to investigate all the things that the calculator will do. Turn the calculator on using the AC on button. Your calculator will always go back to where it was before you turned it off. So press the menu key if you've not got that already showing on your screen. You can look back through the 21 menus. You have to scroll down to see them all using the cursor button to navigate. You can select a menu by moving the cursor and pressing the execute key or by typing the number or letter label that it has. Within each menu, the keys F1 to F6 are labelled with on-screen menus that look like bricks across the bottom of the screen. In different menus, these keys will do different things. In all the videos, I will use the words on the screen and the key log will show you which keys to press to achieve it. Notice each key can be used in three different ways, on its own, or with shift first, and then the yellow label is used, or with alpha first, and then the red label is used. For example, the log key can be used for the log function, or with shift first, it is 10 to the power X, or with alpha first, it can be used to type the letter B. There's no equals on this calculator. Use the execute button in the bottom right. Remember, you can pause the video at any point to give yourself time to catch up. And to follow this tutorial, it will be easiest if you reset your calculator first. And here's how. Choose System by choosing letter G. Each time you go to a menu, it returns to the place where it was before you left it. So if your screen doesn't look like this, press Exit as many times as it needs until it does. Notice the on-screen menu for Reset is F5. Choose Reset. And notice the labels for F1 to F6 have changed. Choose F2 to choose Main here, and you'll be asked to confirm your choice. So press F1 to confirm, and you'll be asked to exit. You can always use exit to go back through the menu choices. Return to the menu screen, and we will look at some of the keys and the menus in Run Mode. Select Run Mode by pressing 1. This is where you will do all your calculations. It's very similar to a scientific calculator. The display across the top of the screen shows the default settings. If these are not the settings you want, you can use Setup to change them. Remember to press Shift before the menu key as it is written in yellow. Type exactly what you see. There's a button for X squared. Use the power to type in the power five and then move the cursor to the right before typing in the plus. Use the shift key to activate the square root. Type the 25 and press the execute key for equals. There's no need to delete this to type in the next calculation. You just type it in underneath. That means you can always return to a previous calculation by scrolling upwards. Use the fraction template. Type the numerator and then scroll down to type the denominator. Scroll to the right before you type in plus or else it will go into the denominator of the fraction. Use the mixed number template for the one and a quarter. If you just put one in front of a fraction, it will give you one times the fraction and not a mixed number. Press execute and the answer is displayed as a fraction. If you would prefer to have the answer as a decimal, press the SD key. To turn it back into a fraction, press the SD key again. Notice the SD key is useful for simplifying even when it's not the answer to a calculation. To simplify this third, type root 48 and execute. To simplify the fraction, use the fraction key and type the numerator. And then use the cursor key down to type the denominator. After typing the root 3, you need to scroll to the right to avoid typing the square root of 3 plus 1. And now execute. You may notice there are fewer buttons on the CG50 than on your scientific calculator. All the missing functions and many other functions are inside one of the menus. Take some time to explore these. You can always find your way back to the original screen by pressing exit as many times as it takes.
Use the Math menu to find Modulus. It's labelled ABS. Notice the more familiar notation is on the screen for you to type. Logs are also on the Math menu, which is still open. Scroll across to type what you see. Use Exit if the next function you need is on a different menu. There are many other functions that you can access with the Option key. Finding Factorial is a good example of this. The Option menu for this goes over two screens. Use the arrow to go across to the second page and choose Probability. Choose Factorial. And the CG50 thinks you want to use the previous answer. So scroll back and delete Answer. Put 5 in front of the factorial sign and execute. Press exit to go back through the menus to the top. I hope you now feel confident to explore some of the features of your Casio CG50. You can find video tutorials on many of the menus and many additional resources at education.casio.co.uk.